She was the most famous woman in the world, a fashion icon and relentless charity worker. Princess Diana took up causes involving the most vulnerable, sick children, AIDS and leprosy sufferers and landmine victims. She broke taboos and changed public opinion, a role she carved out for herself following the breakdown of her marriage to Prince Charles. Princess Diana and Prince Charles arrived in Gibraltar in August 1981 under the glare of the world. It was the start of her honeymoon and she received a tumultuous reception. The only open-topped car available to the royal couple was a Triumph Stag, loaned to them by local businessman Brammy Benatar. From what I remember, it seemed that the only British make convertible in Gibraltar at the time was my dad. There was, and obviously he was in a very good condition and he was in mint condition. Um, so we were asked and, and my father was obviously delighted. There were some adjustments made to the car. The um, bar, the tea bar on the top was removed um, for the day and they also made a, an extra seat so that they could be seated a bit higher. But it was all very exciting and we felt very privileged. My father was extremely proud. The couple were driven along Main Street, lined with thousands of people waving their flags, to the port where the Royal Yacht Britannia was waiting to whisk them off on a Mediterranean cruise. Nobody could have imagined that just 16 years later, the fairy tale would end so tragically. Diana's death triggered an unprecedented outpouring of grief all over the world. Her funeral in Westminster Abbey was followed by two billion people, making it one of the most watched events in history. On the rock, flowers were laid outside the convent, flags flew at half-mast, and a requiem mass was delivered to a large congregation at the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity. A book of condolence was opened at the convent. Chief Minister Peter Caruana wrote to the Queen saying, The Princess of Wales was much loved and admired in Gibraltar for her sincerity and compassion in the work that she did for the less fortunate people in the world. Twenty years after her death, people still remember her with both affection and admiration. She was our princess in the sort of sense there was a lot of um, power in, in everything she did. She was a very kind person. She was loved by everybody. And apart from that, she, she wanted to do, do a lot of charity around the world. Yes, uh, my opinion was that she was a very nice looking lady married to a prince that probably didn't love her. So that's literally what I've got to say, but I think she did really good for mankind, generally speaking. My memories are all good memories of her. We all loved her, we still love her, and it's very sad the way she died. She shouldn't have been dead. Well, she's still there, no? She, she was one of the best uh, women in the world, I think, no? She was, uh, all she did for charity and everything. Yeah, I was very spiritual and uh, she was very special to everybody, not just a princess, but her devotion for charity and for human beings. I mean, she was very special in every way. It, um, it was a great loss. It was a great loss, yeah. Princess Diana's life and legacy live on, and in the end, she did achieve her wish of being the queen of people's hearts.